UK Green Building Council decided to refurbish the office space that we have because the small space we had wasn't quite meeting our needs anymore. We wanted to fit more people in to a more flexible and agile working environment. And obviously once we decided to do that, we wanted to put the environmental performance and the health and wellbeing of our staff front and first. Um, we set out to, to create an environment that would support how UKGBC uh, wanted to work, which really was to introduce flexible sort of modes of working. And that really meant giving them the, the spaces that supported that flexible working. We had to do that in, in conjunction with maintaining all their current facilities, which the, the challenge really was there that we had to carve um, new space um, out of nowhere because we, we were constrained within the existing footprint of the, of the office. And the second part of what we tried to achieve was really to create um, a very simple sort of canvas to apply all of the sort of technical sustainability measures that um, came out of, of the research part of the project. As part of the brief, we were challenged to be as innovative as possible and one of the key concerns we had was operational energy versus embodied carbon with the systems. So for the heating and cooling systems, we were able to reuse most of the systems and just supplement them where needed. For ventilation, it was naturally ventilated before, but with interviews from the, with the staff, we noticed that there were a few issues with stuffiness in winter. So we looked to supplement that by using window fans for a small proportion of the year to bring in small amounts of fresh air, and then they can open them up again in mid-season and summer to stop the overheating. The design elements that um, improve well-being are really centred around this idea of biophilia. We've obviously got the green wall as the centrepiece of the office, which has a real calming effect on the, the feel of the office, but it also has real benefits in terms of um, some of the planting removing pollutants from the air. But it's also about this idea of refuge and about feeling comfortable in your environment. So um, that's about this, the ancillary support spaces that we've created which allow people to escape from their desks, that allow people to take a private phone call without the fear of being overheard. Um, and really I hope that the staff now feel comfortable doing every aspect of their working day within the office space without really feeling ne the need to, to escape to another part of the building. We decided to put sustainability right at the heart of the project um, for obvious reasons and really try to practice what we preach. Um, and as a result of that, we set really quite exacting and precise targets around uh, health and well-being, around energy performance, around embodied carbon, waste and materials. The design teams work together in setting the key performance indicator in a way that, were, that they were overlapping with each other. That enabled us to work together, um, monitoring and reporting through all the stages of the design and the construction to make sure that we achieve the targets. So we sat down and worked out about 10 to 15 key performance indicators of how we measure performance and success in the project. Those were set at the beginning of the project and we set clear targets of where they'd be tested either at the end of the project on handover or on completion or after a year we're using post-occupancy evaluation. Uh, we looked at materials, low carbon materials, that can target both reusability, recyclability and durability. And we were particularly in favour of new, innovative products that consist of either natural materials, such as the briefer board, that we used as an alternative to the standard plasterboard, uh, or that have high recycled content, for instance, the DESO carpets or the green wall structure provided by ANS Group. So one of the key challenges was making sure that we sourced all of the materials exactly as they've been specified, because they've been specified to meet very exact low embodied carbon targets, low VOCs, so enhanced indoor air quality, and to maximise daylighting across the space as well. So new innovative products were used, which we had to ensure that the lead times met the programme required. We set um, an end-of-life scenario for all the products and materials. For instance, how we can use all of the materials in a future relocation of UKGBC offices in 
10 years time or how can we easily dismantle the stud walls and reassemble them elsewhere with minimum waste created? So with waste, we always use one of our preferred waste contractors who are annually audited by our team so that we know exactly where our waste goes and where it's recycled. Together with the team at the beginning of the job, we sat down and created a site waste management plan. So we looked at the space and identified what materials we could reuse within the space so to minimise waste in the first instance. And then from the materials we were going to be taking out, how they could be recycled. As the job goes on, we record all of the waste uh, that gets taken away and it's all recorded and uploaded onto our online management system which is called Project Plus. And this allows the client team and the whole project team to get a live update whenever they want on the current diversion from landfill score um, and that's also reported at every project team meeting so that kept everybody up to date. So we were in a unique position working for the UK Green Building Council here who obviously have very high environmental targets for the job. This really did help pull everybody together within the team. So we all collaborated across every single environmental requirement from the items that were designed to the subcontractors and supply chain providing the materials and the actual installation of the products. Um, the clear vision, teamwork, communication and the common will for going beyond standard practice was the key characteristics of this project. Uh, working with the design team was great fun. It was a very collaborative, uh, enjoyable experience. Uh, because we were able to define the brief at the beginning of the project so well and set really good key performance indicators, we all knew what success was, so we're all working from the same hymn sheet and working towards the same end goal. Thanks to the hard work and collaboration of our design team and the product suppliers, we achieved some excellent results on the project. Um, it has the lowest embodied carbon of an office refurbishment ever recorded in the UK. We also diverted 99% of our construction waste from landfill and we reused 98% of our fixtures and fittings uh, on the project. So we now have an office that is really, really nice for people to work in. It has lots of fresh air, natural light and elements of nature.